Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Tegan and today I'm bringing you my favorite Stardew Valley mods. Stardew Valley is a satisfying and relaxing game. It has a cozy atmosphere and lots of stuff to do. So, before we get started, just to be clear, I have not tried every mod on Nexus Mods, but I usually find stuff in the game that I want to change and then I look for mods to do that on Nexus Mods. So, I do recommend, however, that you try to play the game without mods first. I had about 50 hours in game before I started to mod it. And yeah, that's it. So, let's just jump on in. Some mods are just making life easier. Others are game changing. I'm starting with the light ones and then moving on to the game changing ones in the end. So the first one is Smoppy, Stardew Modding API. This is a must for most of the mods to work. So if you are planning on modding Stardew Valley, you must have this one, Smoppy. And then the second one, look up anything. If you are the kind of person that opens Chrome and searches for Stardew Valley something something, this is the mod for you. If you want to know any information about something, you just hold your mouse over it and then click F1. This brings up a page with information much easier than opening internet to search for everything. And third, UI Info Suite. This is another mod that is really good to have. This helps you by showing sprinkler size, calendar and quest board in the menu, small symbols that show you time left on two log grades and who has birthdays and more. This mod also implements this info in a way that it doesn't break the game and it doesn't feel like you have modded anything. It just fits naturally right in. Fourth, we have abilities, experience bars. To be able to see how far you have come on each of the five categories, just remember the five F's. Fish, fight, forage, farm and forcefully beat those rocks. Some call that mining. This simply makes you able to see how far you are away from the next level. Fifth, we have NPC map locations. This makes you able to see the location of NPCs and your fellow farmers if you play multiplayer. It is also a lot more accurate than a vanilla map. It makes it easy to find the person you are looking for. For it to work in multiplayer, the host needs to have it installed. Sixth, we have Better Sprinklers mod. This mod lets you improve the sprinklers in game. You can make the sprinkler pattern larger and therefore have fewer sprinklers, or you can just alter the sprinkler pattern if you want something crazy. It also shows the effective area of the scarecrows and sprinklers when you hold them. Automate. This mod automates the chests. If you place them next to the machines, they will automatically take raw material inside the chest and push it out into the machine. It also takes the finished product from the machine into the chest. And you can even connect multiple machines to link them for even more advanced automation. Eighth, we have chests anywhere. This gives you access to all the chests from anywhere. This makes it easier to mine further and generally use your time more efficiently. You can name your chests anything you want for easier sorting. I love this capability as you will get further into the game you will also have many new items and this keeps your system away from springing into chaos. Number 9 we have CJB, Cheats Menu. 
This menu gives you accessibility to everything. You can add money by one click, teleport, freeze time, level up skills, decide weather, set hearts with villagers and much more. This is the only one on my list that I think is game breaking. It is simply too powerful. So if you want to download this cheat, I recommend that you set some boundaries for yourself so you don't ruin your game experience. This was all my favorite Stardew Valley mods. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.